Good morning and welcome to City Chat with City Magazine. I'm Kylie Harmon, General Manager of City Magazine, and today we are visiting with Ron Stotts. 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 I was mm-hmm. correct. Okay, with Green Light Systems. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. Very cool. Very cool. Um, so, Green Light Systems. What is it? <laughs> what do you do? Okay. Well, basically, I have uh, two different uh, levels of business, what I do. Uh, on the home entertainment side, I uh, go into new construction or remodeling jobs, and I provide lighting control systems, home theater, whole house music, okay. uh, control systems. Um, on the commercial side, on the energy side, I work with um, commercial facilities to help reduce their electrical expenses. And uh, what we do is we end up uh, treating four different avenues. We treat lighting, air conditioning, refrigeration, and equipment. Okay. And by doing that, we use 15 different types of technologies to help um, reduce electrical expenses. And uh, the nice thing is we back it up with an uh, insurance policy to guarantee that savings. So that client is, is guaranteed, no questions asked. It's not, it's not an assumption by any means. It's, good. it's a guarantee. So. Okay. So what made you decide to open this business? Like, how did you get to that decision? Um, I spent the last uh, 16 years in residential integration. And residential I, integration meaning uh, working with uh, contractors building houses okay. um, putting whole house audio systems things of that nature in there and one of the avenues that we did was lighting control and I, I felt a, a strong need for that okay and I wanted to kind of broaden that a little bit so I wanted to um, take it to the commercial side and um, so I just kind of started checking into it and and found that there's uh, several energy conservation companies out there that uh, could use my help so, okay so i brought it to north dakota and so uh, green light systems is a company where are they based out of then um, green light systems is actually my company um, oh I, I apologize i'm sorry no, no that's fine um, um energy automation systems is a franchise that uh, okay. clients can purchase and basically you follow their procedures um their process and uh, my job is basically to get my clients in touch with them. They design and manufacture the system, and then I hire out to have those uh, systems installed. So okay. But uh, on the residential side, um, I just have my host of products that I would normally sell uh, for home entertainment or lighting and things of that nature. So okay, okay. So you guys are commercial and also residential. residential. Yes. Okay. So um, you know, energy savings. That's kind of what you've been talking about this whole time. Because I mean, you help businesses for sure and residents. You know. Mm-hmm. conserve their energy but what are like the top three things that a business can do and um you know a homeowner could do to conserve a little bit more energy um you know i guess uh, the first thing that uh, a lot of commercial applications or even residential um, applications to have done is changed out the light bulbs you know that's the first thing okay yeah that would make sense um, you know the, nowadays with the technology available they, they have energy efficient light bulbs mm-hmm. but um, working with a commercial energy conservation company, we have access to um, more of the energy side of um, hmm. light bulbs and equipment okay. and so forth. So if they've gone down that path, we have the ability to um, go a little further for them. Okay. And um, So you have, like, you have access to basically more light bulbs that are really not on the regular market then? Yeah, you can't... Uh, at this point, you can't go into Lowe's or Menards and buy these type of equipment okay. uh, or light bulbs. You know, you, you hmm. have to go through a uh, energy conservation company in order to get it. Eventually, uh, you know, they will have it as well. But mm-hmm. the whole point of uh, putting our systems in is to make it better than what they can buy on the street. Very so, cool. Yeah. So changing light bulbs, and then what else can someone do? Um, basically, um, some of our devices that we have is um, we put on electric motors. So if they have a motor that uh, may... Um, run for their their swimming pool to pump the water through mm-hmm. the swimming pool or for an elevator or for the exhaust fans, all variety of motors. We have hmm. devices that um, will actually help reduce the amount of power that they use. Okay. And uh, over a period of time, that just helps save on the energy costs and it lowers your electrical bill. Um, the other thing, too, is basically... Um, you know, if we treat a, a supermarket or a restaurant that may have refrigeration, we have additives that uh, can be put into their equipment uh, to make mm. the equipment run a lot more efficient and reduce electrical expenses as well. So, Well, that makes um, a lot of sense, too. Yeah. But in grocery stores, I mean, they 
they've got it. Their energy bill has to be huge. <laughs> exactly, and they're open uh, 24 hours a day. You know, gas stations, same same scenario. Yeah, yeah with but with uh, the refrigeration that they have with all the produce and frozen foods, and yeah, they have to they have to keep a constant temperature all the time. And that equipment is is working hard to do that. While our equipment makes their equipment run a lot better and more efficient. So, big result is they don't have to spend as much money on their electrical bills which is always helpful exactly. so it looks like you have like a little black box of fun little things to see yeah so let's, let's let's see some of the stuff that you that you do okay um on the commercial side this is a uh, this is an electric motor this is a motor that basically would run a um air handler or air conditioning things of that nature um we have one device here that ties into it, and basically, can you hold not, it up just a little bit, Mark? Yep, yeah. Yep. Okay. This is uh, this is not a plug-in. It has to be hardwired in by an electrician. But uh, I see. This is a, a custom made for this particular motor. So if a client has a motor that's, you know, runs at 26 amps, they'll have one that makes it, you know, custom made for that client. So um, what this does is it basically captures the the power that. Um, the reactive power that it's using that usually gets wasted and spit down the line and dissipated as energy. Okay. It captures it and basically brings it around. So, um, so instead of paying for a hundred percent power, you're paying for two thirds of the power. Oh, wow. So uh, wow. Okay. So that there. really does help with savings. Yeah. yeah. And like on the home side, what are some things that you have? Um, basically, um, you know, we're used to this type of a look in a house. Oh, yeah, know. I've got that. <laughs> yeah, you have your switches and your traditional dimmers, and um, a lot of times uh, clients will walk in and they'll flip it, and they, they think they're turning on one light bulb, but they're actually not, so they have to go through a slew of lights to, to run it. So. Oh, wow. Um, so, like, by turning on one, you're actually activating the whole switch? Well, with this, this is old school. This, this goes away. What we do is basically take that out of the wall, and we actually put in a keypad, that will oh, make it look a lot nicer, okay. and we label it so that so you know, people it, know. Yeah, so if you want it to be entertain or or um, um, party mode or whatever type of lighting scene that you want, hit one button and it hmm. it controls a different slew of lighting. And uh, the nice thing is, is it makes your your house look more elegant. Um, it uh, saves energy. Obviously, each one of these will pay for itself in a year. Mm -hmm. um, but it's amazing. wow, and within one year. In one year, and the nice thing is, is you can um, you can have a house that's built in 1912, and I can come in and I can put that type of system in there, or you can do a new construction. It wow. doesn't matter. So everything that's uh, so you uh, can remodel mm -hmm. and also new construction. Exactly. What, what is usually more expensive? Um, it's about do. the. It's a little bit more expensive to um, take out switches and okay. you know patch the wall and make it look nice again and, and rewire. But the rewiring is very minimal. Okay. But uh, the nice thing is that uh, you know if a client really likes the the older look of a of a house and they don't plan on moving but they want to upgrade it and save energy and make it look more elegant, this is a good way to do it. Hmm. You know? Very interesting. Yeah. So um, what? I mean, everybody seems to be going, you know, green, recycling, which is a very good thing. Mm -hmm. But what other trends are there in your industry? I mean, what other trends are you seeing when it comes to commercial and also on the business side um, for energy savings? For energy savings? You know, a lot of, uh, a lot of clients on the residential side, they, they're more apt to put audio systems in the house, throughout the house. Mm -hmm. um, but when you start looking at a wall, you have an audio keypad, you have a thermostat, you have a bunch of light switches. Um, okay. It just starts looking very congestive, and it's hard to control. Well, what we can do is basically put it into one little touchscreen, and this is just one of many that we have, but uh, hmm. one little touchscreen that will control your thermostat, your heating, your air, uh, your lighting, all your audio, and make it very simple. And if you want... Um, you know, the iPhones and the iPads are very convenient nowadays, so you have the ability to control all your equipment through that as well. Oh, my word. So you so, can program it to your phone. Exactly. And um, Oh, that is so crazy. Let's say that, uh, you know, I, I had to jump on a plane to fly to Minneapolis, and halfway there, I get there, and I go, man, I forgot to turn the lights off in the garage. Okay, well, I can hit this, and boom, the lights are off. Oh, my word. Yeah, so it's very convenient, and... 
Um, you can be across the globe and be able to control your your uh, house, and that's that's you're starting to see a lot more trend of control systems mm-hmm. that are enveloping a lot of different things. So people want to make their house uh, very convenient. You know, um, the days kind of computerized. <laughs> exactly. You know, um, back in the day, smart homes had this misconception of being very expensive, being very elaborate. While well, nowadays, you can you can treat or do one room, and that's a foot in the door as far as being. Energy. A, yeah, energy efficient and a smart home. So, hmm. And then with all the modern technology that's available, you can keep expanding. You don't have to buy all this equipment at one time. If you can afford to do one room, do one room, and then just keep working your way through it. So, Well, in the Bismarck area, I mean, like I know there's certain areas across the country. I mean, California obviously is mm-hmm. one of the first ones that comes to mind. But like in this area, are we lagging behind these trends, or are we now just starting to get there? You know, in your uh, bigger markets where... Uh, California is an example where the energy cost is so expensive. Um, you know, obviously they're doing what they can mm-hmm. to make make the first moves. So we are a little bit behind on that. But uh, um, you know, with our economy doing so well, you're starting to see a lot of people come into the state that have that mindset of you know, hey, I've, I'm used to being uh, going green. You know, I, I want to buy the energy efficient uh, vehicle or I want to buy the ener- energy mm-hmm. efficient lights. So you're starting to see a lot of it, and it, it's going to take some time. Um, you know, if we can get the contractors and and some of the the, the commercial um, facilities starting on it, it'll just work its way down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it makes sense, I mean, that we are a little bit behind, but I was just kind of curious, I mean, if we're really super far behind or we're kind of catching up, so it sounds like we are. Yeah, we're catching up. You know, a lot of, uh, I think a lot of the local um, electronic companies, uh, integrators, are doing a very good job um, bringing some of this equipment to the market, and and I think if, uh, if we all work together and... and provide solutions to our customers it won't take long and we'll, we'll catch up you know uh, the more that the client is aware of um, product the more apt they're going to purchase it the more that they're aware that they can actually make a difference exactly the more they are going to want to like mm-hmm. you said yep. so um, when it comes to the home construction side do you work with just like one or two contractors or do you work with like a slew of contractors i, I do have several contractors that i work with um you know, and I mean, like home building contractors. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and that's the goal in my type of business is to work with the contractors, just so that um, you know it's a little easier for me to be introduced to the client. Okay. You know? um, I don't really want them to do the selling for me. That I just want them to basically say, you know, I I do have a gentleman that, or a company that can provide energy savings, and this is what they do. Please hmm. go talk to them, and then I'll meet with the client, and then. Uh, um, present my options to them for, for them. what they can do and but yet at the same time somebody can just call you exactly yep so yep. very cool so you're very versatile in that sense mm-hmm. well no i don't want to forget that you also do the commercial side so you go into businesses to help mm-hmm. them with their energy efficiencies mm-hmm. and, and isn't there like a federal rebate going on right now for these businesses there is um, actually north dakota utility companies were granted uh, X amount of money to help uh, commercial facilities become more energy efficient. And um, so between tax credit that the uh, the business owner can write off at the end of the year, plus the rebates uh, that are available to them, um, literally these systems can be somewhat free. Wow. Um, you know, the rebates are, are active up to 50% of the cost of the project at a cap of $15,000. So depending on the size of the facility, okay. some facilities might get it for free. Some some it's just a nice uh, rebate to have to go towards it. So so it's yeah. a rebate and a tax credit? or yep. Yep. So how does this work then? So then The rebates are, are basically uh, money that, um, that the state of North Dakota utility companies were granted. Obviously, there's only so much money, and mm-hmm. it's first come, first serve. So, and then once um, it's gone, it's gone. It's gone. So I'm trying to urge as many commercial facilities to partake in that because it's, it's money that uh, will help them um, upgrade their facility. Um, also, you know, the tax credit that as a business owner 